Hi everyone, welcome back to online classroom Deku Tio. In this video, we are going to look at the characteristics of planets. In our previous video, we have visited all this planet one by one. But today we are going to compare all eight of them together and um, just looking at a few of their characteristics. The first one we want to study the temperature of these planets in our solar system. While well, logic tells us that the one that is closest to the sun is probably the hottest and the one furthest away is the uh, coldest. All right. So why do I see a data that is a little bit different? While the one closest to the sun, the mercury can be so low in temperature to negative 173. What is going on? Let's find out. We will look at the planet that do not have an atmosphere first. Okay, that is our Mercury. If you remember, Mercury is the only planet that do not have an atmosphere. That means Mercury is almost like it is standing in front of the sun naked. It do not have anything to protect it. It does not have that jacket of atmosphere. So the sunlight directly reach Mercury and reach the surface. So the face that is facing the sun is crazily hot. It can go up to 427 degrees Celsius, while the darker area, the darker face that is away from the sun, facing away from the sun, is crazily cold. It is negative 173 degrees Celsius. So that is our Mercury. How about planets that do have an atmosphere? Okay, we will look at Venus first. Remember, Venus is a greenhouse planet. So the atmospheric layers, it's like it has this very, very thick and very warm jacket on because of the content. It has very high content of carbon dioxide, more than 96 percent that causes the greenhouse effect. That is why a lot of heat is trapped within that atmosphere that makes Venus the hottest planet in the whole solar system. It can go up to 462 degrees Celsius. Next, we will look at our planet Earth. Well, the Earth has clouds and atmosphere and these clouds help to reflect sunlight back into the outer space. But the atmosphere also traps some of the heat, which causes greenhouse effects. So we are warm enough and not too cold. So the coldest point on Earth is negative 89.2 degrees Celsius. And the hottest point may be somewhere around 56.7 degrees Celsius. And we are here in Malaysia. We are at the equ uh, equatorial country. So uh, in Malaysia, our average temperature, I will say, is somewhere 30 degrees Celsius, right? The next planet that has an atmosphere that we are going to look at is the Mars, all right? The Mars. So I have colored the temperature of the Mars here, negative 143 to 35 degrees Celsius. What it is, why is it so different than the Earth, even though it has and atmosphere. This is because the surface pressure of Mars is actually very, very low. It is less than 1% of the Earth's pressure. It cause, causing the, the atmosphere has very minimal effect on the surface area and hence the, uh, the range of temperature that you can find on Mars is somewhere between negative 143 to 35 degrees Celsius. And then we will look at all our giant planets, that is the Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They are all very, very cold. The surface of these planets are covered in gas and they receive very little sunlight. That is why the temperature is so low. The further it is, the colder it becomes. Well, we have looked and compared the temperature between the planets. Now, let's look at the gravitational pull. Remember what is gravity? What is gravitational force? It is the force that pull all of us, all of us back to the center of the Earth. That is why apple falling down from the trees, we 
always fall down. Nobody will fall back up to the sky, right? So that is gravitational pull. Let's look at the planet Earth first, our mother Earth. Our gravity is 9.8 meter per second every second. Alright, if we release one object from a certain height, the object will fall at an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second per second. That is not a typing error, okay? It is really per second every second. That is our unit for uh, acceleration. Then we will look at these two planets, Mercury and Mars, because their gravitational pull is lower than the Earth, a lot lower. So we have around 10, that is, well, to be more accurate, 9.8. And for these two planets, they are around 3.7, Mercury 3.7, Mars slightly higher, 3.71. Why are they having such a low gravity? It has to do with their relative mass. Their masses are a lot lower compared to the Earth. If we take the mass of the Earth as the reference point, that is 1, okay, and compare it to Mercury, that is less than 0 0.1, it's 0 0.05, and Mars is around 0 0.1. So because of their very low mass, they have very low gravity as well. How about Venus? Venus has gravity of about 8.87. It is very close to the gravity of our Earth. We have 9.8. Why? If you refer back to their mass, they also have the mass that is not very far away from the mass of Earth. We have one that have around 8, 0.8. Okay? Now let's look at Jupiter. Jupiter has a very high gravitational pull compared to the Earth. They have 24.79. If you remember from our last video, we talked about how Jupiter, because of its strong gravity, is able to deflect object that might become, um, that might come our way, that might hit us. Okay, so they have very strong gravity and their strong gravitational pull is related to their very high mass as well. That is 317.8. Next, we will look at Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. If you look at their masses, let's look at their masses first. They have very high mass compared to the Earth. 95 for Saturn, Uranus 14 point something, and Neptune 17 point something. They are a lot higher, but their gravitational pull is not that much higher than the Earth. Even Uranus has slightly lower gravitational pull. Not much difference. Well, why is that? Well, it is because of their density, actually. If you look at their density, they have very low density. Remember, they are covered by gas, okay? These are giant gas planet. So, the Earth, we have 5.5 uh, density, while Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune has much, much lower density. That is why their uh, gravity, gravitational pull is actually not much difference from the one that is in the earth well after we have looked at temperature and gravitational pull now let's look at the time that each planet need in order to make one circle or one whole round complete a whole orbit around the Sun you can see that the further away the planet is from the sun the longer it takes for a mercury it's only 88 days they only need uh, no they only one mercury right it only needs 88 days to complete one orbit venus not that much difference from the earth but still a lot faster all right 224 uh days that is more than 100 days faster and for the earth we take one year that is 365 days these days are measured as the time on earth okay and the mars need uh, 600 over almost 700 days and starting from jupiter is even longer jupiter needs 11.9 years saturn 29.5 years uranus 84 years and net to 164.8 years. Well, one thing that can explain why the further away 
The longer they take is not only because they are slower, but also their orbit is so much bigger compared to the planets that are closer to the sun. So look at their circle. Look at their orbit is so much bigger if they are further away from the sun. So that should explain why they need more time. Well, another thing that I would like to bring to your attention one more time is that the rotational direction of the planets. All planets rotate from west to east. All right, from west to east. Some of them at an angle, except two planets that rotate very differently. They are the Venus and Uranus. So don't look at Venus and Uranus. Let's look at all the other planets. They all uh, rotate from west to east. And some planets is a little bit tilted in their axis, just like the Earth is a little bit tilted. Okay, Mars as well, Saturn as well, Neptune, and Venus is very special. Why? Because it turns the other way. All right, Venus rotates from the east to the west, and Uranus, just like we discovered in our last video, it rotates on its side. It's as if it is laying down and rotate. All right. Well, that's all from Jekutio in this video. I shall see you again in our coming video. Bye. If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.